So the next step in setting up your books organization is going to be setting up the tax settings. Um, if your company doesn't currently isn't currently registered for uh, collecting and remitting taxes, you can completely skip this step. Um, you don't have to worry about configuring that. But for anyone that does, uh, we'll go through that step here. So I'm back in settings and we're going to be in taxes and compliance and then click on taxes. Now, one thing to note is that this is going to be slightly different depending on your region, your country, your state. Um, every area is going to look slightly different in terms of uh, how taxes are collected and um, who it's remitted to and everything. But the basic setup step is going to pretty much be the same. So you're first going to be taken to the tax rates section. We're first going to go to tax authorities um, and set that up. So we're going to click on tax authorities. And here's where we're going to enter in any of the tax authorities that uh, you remit taxes to. So in Canada for GST, the tax authority is the CRA or the Canada Revenue Agency. If you remit provincial taxes, uh, it would go to the applicable provincial revenue agency, so the BC the Ministry of Finance, for example. And the same goes for uh, in the U.S. Any of the state taxes are going to go to their applicable tax authorities. So here we're going to click on New Tax Authority. And since this is a U.S. account, I'm going to use a state um, agency as an example. So we'll use the one they've got there, Illinois Department of Revenue. And we'll select that that state is for Illinois. And you can put in a short description here if you need. Click Save. And now you can use that as one of the tax authorities uh, for the taxes that you're collecting. So you'll add in any that you any and all that you need to within here. We're going to go back to tax rates now. And we're going to start entering in the tax rates. So there's already one here, which is set as the default tax. To add a new one, you're going to click on plus new tax. You're going to put in the tax name. So let's say Illinois state tax. Uh, the percentage, which I don't know off the top of my head, but let's just say that it was 7%, and then select the tax authority. So this is who you're remitting this collected or paid tax to. So in this case, it's the Illinois Department of Revenue. We're going to save that. And now you can see that it's uh, one of the tax rates that's here. So you can go through and add in all of the applicable tax rates that apply to your business. Uh, let's say, for example, you have group tax. So let's say you have a state tax and um, a country tax. What we're going to do is, let's say, for example, GST is the country tax remitted to the federal government, and then this one is to the state tax remitted to the state. When you're putting it on invoices and bills and everything, what you're going to have to do is group together these taxes. Um, and so we're going to create a tax group. So to do this, uh, don't click on plus new tax, but click on this arrow right beside it and click on new tax group. We're going to title it Illinois tax group. And in this example, the taxes that are part of this group is going to be GST and the state tax. We'll save that. And now you can see that it's lumped together the, tax, the two taxes. So you're in total adding on 12% to of the tax uh, to your invoices and all your transactions. 
but when you put it in a group, it knows that, okay, well, seven of that 12% is going towards uh, the Illinois state tax and five of the 12% is going towards the GST. So it's going to be split out accordingly into the correct um, tax rate. One that I always recommend to put in as a tax is some sort of zero rated tax. So this is what you can put in if you, um, if a particular item isn't uh, taxed, there's 0% tax on that. And you're going to select the applicable tax authority. So the CRA will use in this example. And now you can use that on any transactions if the system requires you to enter in a tax rate, but you're not actually taxing on it at all. And finally, we're going to go into tax exemptions. And this is where you're going to put in any tax exemptions that is applicable to your business. So, you know, things like grocery items, food items, that sort of thing is exempt. So you'll be able to put in that exemption. So click on plus new tax exemption. And you'll put in a reason. So we'll put in, whoops, grocery item, and then a short description. The type just means whether it's applicable to a customer or if it's applicable to an item. In this example, it's a grocery item, so it's applicable to any items that you add in. So you can save that. Now, uh, when you're putting a particular item in an invoice or a bill or whatever it might be, um, you'll be able to select that that item is tax exempt and that the reason is this grocery item reason here. And then tax settings is just um, one setting that asks if you would like to enable tax override for sales transactions. So you can click that if, if that's applicable to you and then save. And uh, once that gets loaded, now your tax settings are all configured and ready to go, ready to be put into uh, all of your transactions as needed.